Welcome back to the ENET Employer How-To Video Series. This lesson is going to discuss how to work with employee templates. This is the method we use to greatly simplify the process of setting up new employees in your payroll. We'll begin by explaining the feature, and then we'll walk through the steps of creating and applying our template to several new payroll employees. Simply defined, employee templates are the records that contain preset information about workers who perform similar types of duties. Employee templates are essential when you're adding new employees to your payroll because you simply assign a template to each new employee based on their work type, and then ENET Employer applies all of the corresponding payroll items and settings automatically. Creating employee templates is an easy task as well. Once you've defined the details for one type of staff member, you can then save the template and apply it to many employees that share similar employment characteristics. For example, employees that work in the company factory may have hourly based earnings, such as regular overtime, shift premiums, and so on, while office employees may have salary based earnings. In this case, you would set up a separate template for each employee type, example, hourly and salary so that each time an hourly employee is added to the payroll, they would automatically be assigned the appropriate earning types, along with any other item that is applicable for these types of employees. The first thing we need to do is log into the program and choose the payroll service. When the program appears, let's navigate to the payroll tab and then we'll choose the current payroll templates command. This opens the Employee Template screen. Let's choose the New button to insert a template row into the table. Notice how the row appears in Edit Mode and ready for your changes. For the first part of this lesson, we'll define a typical hourly base template. So moving from left to right, we'll use the various cells to define the required information for the template. In our example, we'll start with hourly as the name. Next, we'll ensure that the full rate option is selected in the business account cell. This will instruct the program to apply this specific business account for any employees who have this template applied. All employees are required to have at least a default distribution, so let's choose that option from the list. If you have set up a custom distribution, you can choose that option instead. Next, we'll set the tax province to Manitoba and then we'll move to the WCB cell and choose the workers' compensation rate code that will be assigned to employees who use this template. We'll choose the Manitoba rate option for our demo lesson. Note that the workers' compensation rate code is applicable to some but not all employees and is based on the type of work that they perform. Now let's move to the next cell and assign a statistic code for these employees. We'll enter the term hourly for our demo lesson. Note that the stat code setting is optional and can be used to designate the employee's wage method for Statistics Canada reporting purposes. And this brings us to the payroll items portion of our template. That is the earnings, deductions and benefits, and accumulators. Click on the down arrow in the earnings cell to display the drop-down menu of available earnings. Each of the earnings in this list can be applied to the new employee by placing a check in its corresponding box. For our demo lesson, we'll apply the typical set of earnings that are applicable to an hourly based employee. In this case, double time, overtime, regular, statutory pay, and vacation. Once we've made our selections, we'll choose the X to close the list. Now let's move on to the employee deductions and benefits. We'll click on the down arrow in that cell to display the drop-down menu of available items. As with the previous earnings cell, each of the items in this list can be applied to new employees by placing a check in the corresponding box. For our demo lesson, we'll apply the typical set of deductions and benefits that are applicable to an hourly based employee. In this case, group insurance and the RSP deduction. And once again, once our selections are complete, we'll choose the X to close the list. Now let's move on to the employee accumulators. 
We'll click on the down arrow in the accumulator cell to display the drop down menu in that cell. As with the previous two columns, each of the items in this list can be applied to the new employees by placing a check in the corresponding box. For our demo lesson, we'll apply the vacation accumulator since that's the only item that we've defined in our demo payroll. Then we'll choose the X again to close the menu. And when the selections are complete, we'll scroll to the left to save the row. This completes the settings for the hourly employee template. Here's a summary of what we've just completed. If we were to add a new employee now and apply this template to them during the process, the new employee would automatically be assigned the following. A full rate business account, default distribution, Manitoba Tax Province and WCB code, hourly statistic code, and the various earnings, deductions, benefits, and accumulators that are applicable to hourly-based employees. Now that we've completed the settings for the hourly template, let's use the same procedure to create a template for our salary-based employees. Since we're already on the template screen, let's use the new button once again to insert another template row in the table. For this second template, we'll start with salary as the name. The business account can be set to full rate. And again, default distribution. Manitoba for the tax province. And the Manitoba rate for WCB. Next, we'll move to the statistic code field and we'll enter the term salary. Again, this cell is optional but may be useful if you plan to designate the employee's wage method for Statistics Canada reporting purposes. With the basic settings complete, it's time to assign our various payroll items for the salary template. Click on the down arrow in the earnings cell and we'll choose bonus, commission, salary, and vacation pay. Then we'll choose the X again to close the menu. Now let's move on to the employee deductions and benefits. Just like with the hourly template, we'll assign the same set of deductions and benefits, in this case, group insurance and RSP deduction. And finally, let's move on to the employee accumulators. Again, as with the hourly template, we will apply the vacation accumulator. And once complete, scroll to the left and save the row. This completes the settings for the salary employee template. Now if we assign this particular template to a new employee, they would automatically have different types of earning assigned, specifically the salary and commission types. This completes the settings for our two employee templates. Now let's apply these templates to some new payroll employees. Remaining in the Payroll tab, let's choose the Employee Setup Employee menu command. This opens the Setup Employee screen. If you're familiar with the program, you'll know that this screen is used to define the basic information that's required for each employee as they are added to the payroll. In this demo lesson, we can see a list of several employees who already exist in the payroll. And notice how the Template column for each person shows the word Select Template. This indicates that these five employees were added to the payroll using the manual method. Let's begin by applying the hourly template to a brand new employee. Click on the Select Template drop-down list that appears to the right of the New button. This list displays the two templates that we created earlier in the lesson. We'll select the hourly option and then choose the New button. This action inserts a new employee row into the table and its cells appear in edit mode, ready for your changes. Enter the employee's general information, beginning with their surname, given name, social insurance number, and so on.
And when you come to the final cell in the row, you will notice that the hourly template is listed. This template settings will be applied to the new employee once we save the row. So let's scroll to the left and choose the save icon. This completes the addition of the new employee. Now to see the hourly template settings in action, let's choose the employee earning items command. When the screen appears, notice how our new employee Sam Allens appears automatically in the table. This happens because he has been signed the multiple earnings from the template and you have saved the step of having to enter each one manually. To see the full list of earnings that have been assigned, let's choose the expand row icon and now we can see the various earnings sub rows. Notice how each of the template's earnings are applied to Sam and all you need to do now is enter his corresponding hourly earning rate. So let's double click on that row and for our demo lesson, we'll enter $20 per hour. Once this amount has been entered, we select the Update Rates button to calculate the other earnings, since they're based on multiple of this employee's regular earning. Notice how the other earnings now have their rates applied. In this case, the double time earning shows $40 to indicate that it's based on the two times multiplier of his regular rate of $20 per hour. Similarly, the overtime rate is set to 1.5 times his regular rate. The result is $30 for this rate. And now you can save the regular earning sub row. To complete the new employee settings in full, you would now proceed to the employee menu and work down the list as normal, entering all the various data items for the employee. Now let's use the same procedure to apply our salary template to a new employee. Let's choose the employee setup employee command once again. And when the screen appears, we'll choose the select template dropdown list and this time we'll choose the salary option. Once we select the new button, this inserts a new employee row into the table ready for editing. And once again we'll take a few moments to enter the employee's general information beginning with their surname, given name, social insurance number, and so on. When you come to the final cell in the row, you will notice that the salary template is listed in the cell. This template settings will be applied to the new employee once the row is saved. So let's scroll to the left and choose the save icon. This completes the addition of the new employee. And now to see the salary template settings in action, let's choose the employee earning items menu command once again. Randall Wilson now appears in the table, and when we expand his row, we can see that the employee template is automatically assigned the four salary-based earning types, bonus, vacation, commission, and salary. Now all we need to do is enter his corresponding salary earning rate. To render the amount for salary-based earnings, we take the annual salary amount and divide it by the number of pay periods in the year. In our demo lesson, we have a bi-weekly payroll of 26 weeks. With Randall's annual salary set to $52,000 per year, we divide that number by the number of pay periods for the year. Therefore, each pay period, his salary amount will equal $2,000. So we'll enter that amount into the salary row. 
So let's close the calculator and edit the salary subrow. Then we'll add the $2,000 amount and move to the hour cell and enter 80 hours to represent his two-week pay period. And then we'll save the subrow. As with the hourly template, we would now need to complete this salary employee's remaining settings by working through the various other options in the employee menu. And that completes the lesson on working with employee templates. We hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn how to edit an employee template for situations where you need to apply one or more new settings to a group of employees, check out our other how-to video that's entitled Editing Employee Templates. Please visit us again and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more ENET Employer how-to videos. Thanks for watching.